today we will explain here uh, how to roll, how to uh, to escape from uh, different situations when you need to make a escaping movement, a rolling movement with the katana. Uh, this method is known as uh, a stenza no ho. This stenza is composed by two kanji. The first one, ten, comes from uh, korogeru, that means to roll over, to tumble, and uh, the this za comes from uh, to sit in the ground. Then uh, these skills are performed in order to escape any kind of threat of, or attack in classical situations while you will be sit on, uh, on the ground and you need to escape when you are um, carrying your weaponry with you. Then it's a very hard study because you need to roll without damaging in any uh, way your, your weapon, mainly the katana. Then, first of all, I will explain uh, for the introduction how to roll and after that I will uh, develop several examples with the help of Sensei Rebecca here on my left in order that we could uh, perform it uh, and understand the idea because I will be doing with Shinken then we will perform it in slow motion in order to avoid any kind of risk, any kind of uh, problem that we could have if uh, any any if, uh, any distance is not well set, then first of all, when we are on say position like that way, uh, the first thing that we have to have in mind is to care about the katana because if you try to roll and uh, maybe your kashira or your tsuka hits on the ground, possibly the blade will open the the saya, the scabbard, or uh, or will damage in any way you could find. Then the first thing that we have to, 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 to care is to, uh, to protect the katana from any kind of hit, any kind of uh, strike uh, that you could uh, have when you are rolling to the ground. Then first thing that we have to do, for example, it's that you need to put the katana on this position, that it's horizontal, that it's called sui hei. From here we could roll on the left, that it could be differently, or you could roll forward uh, with the right side. The key here is to keep it protected with your body, with your trunk, and from here you could roll and protect without touching with the kojiri or without the kashira to the ground. This is the key in order to be safe. Uh, the the uh, the extremities of your of your of your sword. You will also roll backwards in the following way. For example, if we are here, we need to care in the same uh, idea. We we'll, we put it horizontal, and from here we need to roll back very carefully backwards without any kind of touch to the ground, like here. You can see I am do it, doing it slowly. I have care of the blade, and from here, of course, I could draw the sword, and I could any kind of thrust, draw, or cut that you could perform now on. Then you could do it forward in both uh, ways, on the left or on the right, I have performed on the right with the right side and also backwards, like I have rolled backwards. You could also perform, that it's uh, a little more difficult, with the blade out of the scabbard, like this way. For example, if I have this control on this my and this kamai, from here, if I need to roll, what I have to do is be. Uh, to to uh, keep the safety here for not to touch and this I could put here to protect my blade and from here roll and also keeping the distance on this now uh, on this now uh, this uh, this place that I have granted on this position then we have here one or another of the possibilities that we could offer on this circumstance. We could also roll uh, aside 
that it's the same like front side but uh, changing a little your position in order to roll uh, sideways. Right now, what we will explain here is with the help of Sensei Rebecca, we will offer several examples of how to apply this method on this, uh, on this circumstance. For example, Sensei Rebecca stays on here on, the, on, the, on my right, and I am st standing here, maybe he could uh, stand on, say, some position too. For example, here, he, she could try maybe to draw the katana on Tatenuki and cut Mako. From here, I have to roll to my side, and from here, I will move, I will put perpendicular the katana from here, I will roll over in order to protect. And now I could draw the soul and be prepared for the next attack of whatever it could come to me. It's a way to escape from the attack and at the same time to grant a Kamai, a God, in order to protect from any kind of, uh, of the following attack that she could prove. Another possibility that we could find is the following thing. Maybe if I am uh, staying on Seiza position and we have an enemy, uh, a traitor, that will try to attack us, to assault us, coming from the back. And if we perceive that, in this case, in Rebecca is rolling the sword, you know, from, from the back side, what we will uh, do is the following movement in order to avoid and surprise the attacker itself. Then, if I stand on Seiza and I hear the sound of the blade coming out, what I will do is the following thing. I will draw my sword, carrying also on the scabbard, and I will offer my blade downward, uh, sorry, backward, in order to protect if she is close to me. If I reach that she is uh, far, more far than the distance I, I expect, I will roll backward in order to find and surprise the enemy in that way. And from here, what we will do is we have this position in order that we could thrust and pierce the enemy and I will retreat here and I will cut in order to end. Then we have this kind of option that it's another of the studies uh, studied under this Tenzano Ho, that is the method of how to roll when you are in Seiza with your weapons, mainly the katana. Then these are two possibilities that we could find and we could study uh, several more in any of our schools. Thank you very much and see you next time.